Sierra, North Carolina, headquarters of Irwin Mills, one of the leaders in a transformation that's come over the cotton industry. In the South, cotton is king, and now that slogan applies not to cotton growing alone. These days it applies to this vital product to every stage of its processing, from cotton ball to the finished cloth, so important to the well-being of the nation's economy. In days gone by, these bales would be shipped to other parts of the country or the world to be manufactured into cloth. But that's largely a thing of the past, and most cotton now is treated, woven, and finished right here where it's grown in modern mills like the Irwin plant at Durham. After the tightly packed fibers have been loosened and the free dirt shaken out, the cotton goes to a picker where it's further loosened, fluffed, and cleaned. It emerges in a sort of thick blanket called lap. The lap is formed into great rolls, each of a carefully determined weight and quantity of cotton. To make sure the lap is just right, it's weighed. Only a slight variation in the weight of the rolls is allowed. The next step is called carding. Here, the cotton is run over several large drums covered with very fine steel wires which rake the cotton, taking out the shorter fibers not suitable for spun yarn or woven cloth. The long fibers are rolled into rope-like strands called cord sliver, now begins a series of steps in which the sliver is drawn into fine strands which are twisted, combined, and drawn thin again. Twisted, drawn out, combined with other strands, twisted and drawn out again. The fibers become more and more intertwined, packed ever more closely together to increase strength and durability. Finally, the bobbins of yarn are ready for the looms. There are more than a thousand looms in this room, shuttling back and forth. The warp yarns are lifted and lowered as the filling threads pass back and forth between them. After the cloth comes off the looms, it is run over inspection tables where slight imperfections are detected and eliminated. In this particular mill, the cloth is destined to be used as sheets and pillowcases, but cotton, both in this state and especially processed fabrics like rayon, has thousands of uses. The armed forces depended heavily on cotton in World War II and have placed large orders again. But the steady growth of Irwin Mills and the 1,200 other cotton textile mills of the nation leaves our cotton industry in position to handle every pound of cotton the fields can produce. <laughs>